everything that possibly could go wrong does in cop movies. Like, honestly, it's not that dramatic. He's a bad mother. The shaft. So today we're bringing in police officers under 40 and we're gonna see if they know cop movies from the 70s or older. Oh, I'm not very good at movie things. Um, yeah, I don't know any movies from the 70s. I might like be able to like to recognize some of them, but I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually name them. I like um, Colors, uh, End of Watch, Training Day, even though it's, you know, not realistic. Any job that is highlighted in a movie is like turned up to 11. So like even te like jobs that like focus on teachers, it's like not even close to being realistic. And it's the same for police officers. The only bad part is, is when the movies get it wrong, which they do a lot, people think it's true. And so that carries over in real life. You know, when we arrest someone, like you haven't read me my rights. It's like, we don't ha have to? Like I saw it on a movie once and it's like, I know it's an Al Pacino movie. Uh, Get away from those alarms. God damn. Oh. Wait, is this Heat? Yeah, I know this one. This is a great movie. Put the gun on him. Get out of the second. Sonny? I can't do it, Sonny. What? I, I'm not oh. going to make it, Sonny. No, no. Who, whose man's is this? I can't do it, Sonny. Oh, f me. Attica! 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 I don't even know who the actor is. <laughs> the the far guy thought that the guy from Step Brothers, but it's not. Do you know this movie? I did not know that movie. Looks good though. That might have been Al Pacino. Okay, but I I have no idea what movie that is. Sunny in the Bank Heist. I don't think that's the title, but that's my guess. I recognize it. I mean, I've seen. I just don't know the name of it. Dog Day Afternoon. It's actually pretty progressive if you look back on it. Like. Back in the 70s, right? This movie was in the 70s about a guy who's getting his his transgender boyfriend a sex change. This was Dog Day Afternoon. What? I've never heard of it. Dog Day Afternoon. I've heard of that actually. I've heard of it, but I've just never. Probably a long time ago. I probably just went in one year and out the other. Dog Day Afternoon is a crime drama starring Al Pacino that came out in 1975, and it's based off of a real bank robbery that happened three years earlier. Oh, wow. Okay. About 11 years before my time. Anytime that we see crimes being committed, we always wonder why people are doing it. And so when films go into the mindset of a criminal, it, uh, it makes things very fascinating. It's interesting to see movies that portray a bad guy, we look at people and go, why do they do what they do? And then you look back on their history, and sometimes you can kind of maybe understand or relate to why they did what they did. You're a very nosy fellow, kitty cat, huh? You know what happens to nosy fellows? Huh? No? Stitches? Wanna guess? Huh? Got Jack Nicholson. Okay. Gets cut right here. The noses. Oof. The noses. Ow. Ow. I saw that coming. Next time you lose the whole thing. This guy's dressed like Dick Tracy or something. Face. Understand? Excellent movie. Understand. I understand, Gil. I understand. All right. <laughs> I have no idea. I know the actor is. Do you know this movie? I have never seen that. No, that absolutely not. The only one I know is The Shining. That's the only movie I know he's in. It's The Shining. He's um, uh, a PI, a private investigator, and he's investigating a murder of this high-profile individual. So, really good movie. I think you may have gotten your stars crossed there. This was Chinatown. Oh, Chinatown. Yes, I have seen this movie. Very good movie. I just got the names mixed up. So this is Chinatown, starring oh. Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway. That was Jack Nicholson. Oh. Ah, uh, okay, I've heard of it. Isn't there like a famous saying with Chinatown, like you never go into Chinatown or like nothing, something, something? Forget it, Jake, it's Chinatown. Oh, forget it, Jake, it's Chinatown. Okay, I knew it was something. I'll 
take that. Now be cool, man. I think I know this one. I think I know this one. This one looks familiar. It's clearly a, a black exploitation movie or something. Where's your partner? That wasn't looking good. Do you know this? No, I have no idea. I have not. I don't know what those actors are. Is this Shaft? Shaft. Oh, dude. That's Shaft. He's a bad mother. It's Shaft. This is Shaft. Oh, I have heard th this movie name dropped quite a few times. Iconic. Um, I did see the remake with Samuel. Uh, I have not seen the original Shaft. Really? Okay, because I'm like, I've seen this one. I think my dad watched that. <laughs> what is it? Come with the wind. Oh, I really didn't see this one. <laughs> the, uh, it's a nice hat. Stuff that dreams are made of. Oh my God, it's gonna bother me. Is that a rooster? She looks traumatized. I've never seen this movie. I have no idea what's happening right now. Oh my gosh. I was hoping they would say the name of that item because the name of the movie is the name of that item. Do you know it? Absolutely not. <laughs> this was when the 70s, 60s? When it was black and white, I was like, nope. Casablanca? Is that the guy from Casablanca? I don't know. It's definitely I Love Lucy. The name of the movie is the name of that item. What's the name of that item? That is a Maltese Falcon. The movie is called The Maltese Falcon. I love old school noir movies. The pattern that they use for noir movies is fantastic. And I like the twists and the turns and the damsel in distress turns into the femme fatale. And I just, I love those kind of movies. Oh, she was cheating. Look at her. Mm. Her husband home. This is a cop movie? Shouldn't be a moment, my darling. I'll just put on my pajamas. Uh, darling, yeah? look, I think I've got something in my pocket. <laughs> no, I mean the left one. No, no, this one. It I don't come in the light, darling. I, I, I do not know this movie. Well, then stand yeah. still for a moment. Oh, wow. Yes. I cannot open it. It's a light a moment. Oh, he had to take the liquor. He just had to take the liquor. Do you know this one? No. I really hope this one is James Bond. Yes, I'm. I'm Pink Panther? So this is the Pink Panther. Oh, that's a Pink Panther? Not Steve Martin's Pink Panther. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I watched a cartoon. <laughs> is that a start? He's kind of a goofball, kind of showing a detective, you know? It's not always serious. Sometimes we're goofballs. We're here to enforce and protect people, but we're just human beings too. We have a sense of humor. This one's gonna bother me. Is that uh, Gene Hackman, right? Bash it up. Just go ahead and bash it up. You're not gonna get away with this. Put the gun down. Get back! Come on now. Get back! Can't get away with this. Oh. Look, you just can't test them. You just don't know who's really about that life. Stop! Oh, what movie is this? So, do you know this movie? Mm. I don't know, Delta Force? Taking Palum one two or something one two three. I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen the scene, and I don't recall what movie it's from. This is the French Connection. Oh, okay, okay. No, I've never heard of it. The French Connection, because he's racing the train. I heard of it many times. I never seen any of them. I know that it's one of those other classic. Um, Police films as well. This was the first R rated movie to win Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Oh, wow. Did not know that. I've been as part of High Speed Chases. Um, they're not fun. You gotta pay attention to people, you gotta pay attention to the road. Very, very stressful. Uh uh. Clint Eastwood. I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, now I'm gonna look so stupid. Did he fire six shots or only five? Nice. Well, to tell you the truth in all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. But Ian, this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. And oh yeah, this is a classic scene, right? You've got to ask yourself one question. 
Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? It's a famous line. Do you know this? No. I've seen parts of it, but I don't know the title of it. My mind is just in shambles right now. I've I have actually seen that movie. That was the first one I've seen. Dirty Harry. It's Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry. It's Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry. Yes. One of my favorites. This is Dirty Harry. Ah. Dirty Harry. All right. I only know the clip. Do you feel lucky, punk? Uh, everybody knows that. I saw it a long time ago. I actually remembered that one because I've actually seen it. That was the only one I've seen in all of these. My dad really likes Clint Eastwood, so growing up, I watched a lot of like Clint Eastwood, John Wayne movies. Eastwood's iconic portrayal of the blunt and unorthodox detective who's often in trouble with his bosses set the tone for lots of his later roles and inspired other loose cannon cop films. Oh, uh, here's the thing. There's so many angry people, <laughs> but there's very little loose cannons now. Some people enjoy those types of things because you kind of want to see the bad guys get it in the end. And if it means that <laughs> a cop has to break a couple rules, it makes people feel a little bit better. They're still fabricated, honestly. Or there's things where, like, it's so dramatic where you're like, okay, if I heard that or if I saw that, I'm like, oh, backup will be there in like 30 seconds. Then there's like no backup. And I, there's like everything that possibly could go wrong does in cop movies. Like, honestly, it's not that dramatic. Thanks for watching Do They Know It on the React Channel. Bye. Can you dig it? Hey guys, Sabrina here, React Channel producer. Have you joined our super fam yet? Cause you should. Memberships are the way that we can sustain and grow on YouTube. We're making sure each tier is better than the last. So if you click in the link below to join, we would love you forever. Please do it. Bye guys.